A vertical floor support is designed to be used when a wall support cannot be installed directly under the V-band. The overall opening must be at least 4 inches larger than the outer diameter of the duct. The duct must be at least 2 inches away from the combustibles at all times. The opening must be framed by the general contractor with at least 2 by 8 inch wooden joist covered with 3 quarter inch plywood or concrete floor. Non-combustible materials do not require the same clearance as combustible materials. In this case, the edges of the opening should be as close to the duct as possible. For example, the duct shown here has an inner diameter of 12 inches and an outer diameter of 16 inches. So the opening in the floor is a 20 and a quarter inch square. The additional quarter inch ensures the opening meets the required minimums. After the duct sections beneath the floor have been properly installed, begin by assembling the duct section in the floor opening using V-bands to connect the duct below. After securing the duct, it's time to assemble the floor plates. Be sure to use the appropriate hardware for either a wood, steel, or concrete floor. Begin by positioning the floor plates around the duct so the edges of the plates align with the edges of the opening in the floor. Secure the edges of the floor plates to the wooden joists using the appropriate hardware. Hardware must be securely fastened into each floor joist. Be sure to use the appropriate minimum and maximum edge distances, depending on the floor you're installing in. Concrete hardware must not be installed close to the edge so that the hardware does not crack the concrete. Secure the support bands to the duct section as shown. Finally, secure the floor plates together on each side, tightening the nut and bolt to at least 100 inch-pounds. This is an example of a properly installed vertical floor support.